Hi. Hello, Good everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the Karina Show. It is December, what, December 2nd? It is already the 2nd. It is, we're heading into that amazing season of love and shopping. <laughs> If any of you saw my recent Facebook post, you would have gotten a real giggle. Uh, in fact, I'll have to pull it up in a minute. I came home. And why don't you tell everybody what you were doing? Well, it was Cyber Monday, oh. right? So you have all the leftovers from Black Friday are still available. And I was just relaxing, saving us a lot of money on... <laughs> I Christmas gifts and Saving things for the house. Saving us a lot of money. Tristan came home and caught me. Well, this is where I caught her. She was being <laughs> very naughty, and you guys can all participate in what I saw. Let's see. What's funny to there me is, is uh, you can't tell in that picture, but I still have all my workout leggings from teaching early in the morning. There's a credit card on the couch next whoa, 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 whoa. to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're oh. supposed to play the game here. Oh. What it's, do you guys too, so see small. here? Well, I'll blow it up for you. What do you see here that's disturbing? This is what I saw when I walked in the door. Hey, friends popping in live. I saw the lady sitting on the couch. Now, there's obviously a few things there that might alarm you. I mean, it certainly alarmed me. So take a look. I'm going to blow it in a little bit more for you so you can see closely. What do you think I should have been alarmed about there? I see three. There's actually five things. If you start adding it all up, there's five <laughs> things to be alarmed by. All right, let us know in the chat what you think. <laughs> we'll come back to that. So tonight we're, you know, snazzied up a little bit. We're going to join our friends for dinner. And I started thinking about the joy of spending time with those we love, like mm -hmm. getting to see our friends and getting to be with my wife tonight. And I was transported back to why this all started. How do we get into this? situation situation so you guys we want you to reflect on your relationships tonight and the people you spend time with that are your dear ones and i know when we live together sometimes you know you can get a little friction you can forget that initial spark of why we're spending time together mm -hmm. and so we want to take you back 14 years to a day standing under the trees by the water surrounded by friends and family looking into each other's eyes, and some words were spoken. Mm -hmm. And we're sharing these with you tonight to remind us of why we're together, mm -hmm. why date night, if you will, is yeah. so important to us. And maybe it can yeah. spark some beauty in, in your own And experience. also, you know, we're, we're often asked about our relationship because we seem to get along really well. well it seems like it. <laughs> it seems like we have a lot of fun together. And, you know, people have asked me, like, what would my number one thing be for why a relationship works? And I'm talking like a romantic relationship or just friendships. And I always say respect. Because Absolutely. once you lose respect or you act disrespectful towards someone, it's, it's hard to go back. So mm -hmm. always keeping that at the forefront. And sometimes you have to make plans to spend time together outside of, Hey, let's wash the car together. Hey, let's go get <laughs> wash the dry the cleaning car together. together. That, I might add, <laughs> Has is a first. never happened. <laughs> Not on my watch. I've never seen that happen. So like we're, we have date night tonight with some friends in Austin. And then we're actually going to go on a little trip together. Yes. And that's our Christmas Yay. gift to each other. You know, So excited. Instead of stuff, which is great, but I got all the stuff I, I want right we now. We can see from the shopping. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna. So instead, we're we're having an experience together where yeah. we're gonna go, and it, it's part business but part play. Like, how can you create those things for yourself so that you can sort of revitalize, renew, and remember mm -hmm. the vows that maybe you made, or the promises, or the value of the people in your life. That's beautiful. I was at the store the other day, and I told um, a, a gal, I said, "Yeah, my wife and I are." not doing a bunch of Christmas shopping this year, but we're going to spend some time together and we're going to go on this trip together. And she says, I think experiences are just the way to go. Have experiences mm -hmm. together. So, yeah. all right. I, I see that some of you have figured out what was going on there. Susan Strayer says, wine bottle, wine glass, phone, credit card, bottle of beer, question mark. A lot of people think that's a bottle of beer oh, in no. the background. It, it was a... It was a Topo Chico. Was a I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Yeah. With the wine, 
<laughs> on the white sofa, we could add the white sofa. <laughs> I really only spotted three things. I saw laptop, credit card, uh-oh, then wine, <laughs> big uh-oh. I was like, oh, no. No, it makes shopping easy. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, I want, I want baby to be happy. And she is a very conscientious shopper. She's very good at returning things. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, it was it was a good it was a funny moment and Facebook liked it. So I thought I could share with you guys some words that I yeah. spoke to Sabrina. Well, let, let me tell you real quickly. So we got married. We neither of us had been married before. Mm -mm. Um, we had practiced relationships, but we didn't have any practice marriages. <laughs> we were practicing, but we were we were older. We were you know like forty ish. <laughs> and so when planning the wedding, we're like, you know, we don't want exactly bridesmaids 40. and grooms, the grooms, the groomsmen. I said, just like everyone, everyone that attends is in the wedding party because they're all our friends. So we our colors were like yellow and white and beige. So we just ask everyone to come with a touch of those colors. So everyone that attended the ceremony it was like they were in the wedding because they, they all had on the same colors and that was really beautiful. And then we just decided um, we would totally just write what we wanted to say to each other and say it to each other for the first time at the wedding. So as I was getting ready to share my vows, this is what I saw coming my way. Right there. And in my brain, I was taking mental photographs. You know what I mean? I was doing everything I could to not miss that moment. I wanted to see this burned in my brain forever and ever and ever. And so that's obviously Sabrina's dad and Keith's walking her down the aisle. And it's just such a sacred moment, I think, for a beautiful young woman and a father to be walking down the aisle. And I'm standing there, like I said, just mentally, energetically recording this moment one time. I'm, I'm not doing a plan B. I'm all in. This is the one. This is the woman. This is my everything. And so she uh, mosey on down. <laughs> Here she comes. Coming around the mountain as you come. And she's cracking up and She's always making everybody giggle and laugh. And I'm sure she said some little wisecrack as she was coming down. <laughs> and then we get to this moment. It was like, last chance to run. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see, I'm very focused, but I'm a little nervous. These are my vows I'm about to share. And so here we go. This is what came through. I said, sweetheart, our days can get so very, very busy. And I do not want to miss this life ahead of us. So I vow to take time each day to slow down. I will breathe deeply and relax so that I can stay present to the moment and present to you. That way I can always give you love and receive your love. I've known you for 18 years now. And in a lot of ways, I've watched you grow from a young girl into a beautiful woman. I'm so proud of the person you've become. I vow to continue supporting your growth, to be there for you, and give you unconditional love. I look forward to watching you become an even more beautiful woman. Misunderstandings are to be expected. In fact, they're a big part of why we have grown so close together. We now have a strong love that has lasted the test of time, and we've overcome so many challenges already. I vow to continue to use every misunderstanding or challenge in our lives to become a better person and a better husband. I love our togetherness, but I also respect and honor our independence. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I promise to fully support you in all the things you want to experience in your life. I'm your greatest fan and I will stand behind you and encourage you to fearlessly be your best. I also promise to stand in front of you if you are ever in need of protection. I am here with you and you are safe. I'm so grateful that you are choosing to be mine, but I also acknowledge that you are a soul and you belong to the divine. I promise to never interfere with your connection 
or relationship with God, because it is God that has blessed me with you. Hmm, I feel it. And there's the map. <laughs> <laughs> and those words are still as true today as ever. And you oh, have no crying. No crying. You're crying a little. <laughs> You have continued to bless me with challenges, and our misunderstandings have always helped us to grow closer, and we've never lost the respect. I think that's the key, key, key ingredient in a mm -hmm. healthy relationship yeah. is not just love, but respect. Mm -hmm. Communication, listening, not expecting the other person to think like you, right? To be like you, mm -mm. and to allow allow that, like... Like if you guys that are in our wacky workout, how many times am I saying, can we go faster? Stop talking. Let's go faster. And he's like, slow down, slow down. You're going too fast. Like it's just these two different energies. And, and we laugh about it, right? Because if you're not laughing about the differences, then you're, you're probably expecting the other person to change because you think your way is right. Well, one of the things that happened right after... Um was this moment here because I know that Sabrina said something very funny. I don't remember exactly what it was, but we were cracking up so hard. <laughs> <laughs> we were cracking up so hard. It was just so beautiful. And let's not forget this epic moment right here. It's still alive and kicking in, in my experience, the kiss. Well, I, da, 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 I thought da. it was going to be that moment. And Sabrina always wants it to be this moment. <laughs> Bentley! So Bentley was only six months old. And can you stretch that? I got him this little tuxedo. And I was still doing a lot of ballroom dancing. So I had lots of crystals and rhinestones. So I rhinestoned his little tuxedo and put a bow on it. And our rings were on the bow. And he was young enough that he would still do what he was told. And so all I had to do was call him. He would still do what he was told. And he ran all by himself to our feet with the rings. So cute. Okay, you guys know what a little prankster Sabrina is. So let's pull this up. And this is Sabrina sharing her vows now. And you'll know why <laughs> she's making that face in just a moment. Oh, at the end? Yeah. So here she goes. She's going to read them to you. Mine are short. Yours are beautiful. Mm -hmm. To say I love you seems inadequate because I cannot imagine my life without you. For inspiration, I just look in your eyes and what I see there goes beyond what anyone else sees. I see beauty, strength, and courage, and I see you. And I see you seeing me and i will always be grateful to you for that great gift of being seen you make me feel safe and you make me feel like everything is going to be okay you are my person so on this perfect day and in this perfect moment we embark on a journey together and i will love you my loyal friend as i have loved no other i acknowledge before these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, and plenty and in want, as long as we both shall live. And I will love you more than I love Bentley. <laughs> and she started laughing, and that moment is it right there. <laughs> And uh, I don't know if that last line was true, but <laughs> now there's a Winston to compete with as well. Yeah, but Winston you know, didn't come along for two more years. It's so powerful listening to those words. They're so embedded in my in my consciousness. But it's it's beautiful to share them with you guys because it's like reigniting them in us. And if you have vows like that, maybe pull them up and read them again to each other if you are in a relationship, or write some. <laughs> for the, the one you're in a relationship and, with right now. And maybe they could be updated. Yeah. Because reading those, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm a, I'm a different person now, right? More has been seen, more has been experienced. 
I would write something different. And yet that, that first version is still true. Like my next husband, the vows will probably be. <laughs> She's always wondering if I'm listening. <laughs> I am your next husband. You get that, right? Because yeah. I'm not the same guy. Yeah, we are true. so, we, every, all of us here together, this Satori community, we're here evolving. We can't be and stay the same. The truth, the soul is always opening and blossoming mm -hmm. and it's so beautiful to witness. Yeah. We witness that in, in your lives. Mm -hmm. Those of you that we get to be in contact with and you're in our programs or you're here with us now, we're witness to your yeah. beautiful life. Yeah. One of the one of the rituals that I do um, every single day, and I've shared this during our, our five day energy events um, with people, is I'm very aware of you know, the Trisprina, I, I, that's just like really cute. And that's what we call ourselves, but it's actually a, a big thing for us. Trisprina is the energy of Tristan and Sabrina commingling. And that's what we're both in love with. When you're in a relationship or a friendship with someone or, a, or, a, or an anti-friendship, whatever it is, what you're reacting to and responding to is the result of those two energies mixing together. You both like that. We both love Trisprina. And so we are both equally responsible for the health and welfare of Trisprina. And one of the ways that I ground myself in that every single morning, I set one alarm and another one goes off in 15 minutes, is I, in bed, I touch Tristan's foot with my foot and I hold his hand. And we, I call it circling. And I'm just really acknowledging the commingling of the energies, the gratitude, like, oh, wow, another day together, another morning together. Let me not just take this for granted. Let me say, wow, like we share, we call it the, the square. The bed is just like the square <laughs> that, you know, we act like there's a bed and a house, but it's really just a piece of dirt with a structure on it with a square. Like we share the square. We all share the square. We share the square together. We choose, we choose to share the square night after night after night, not taking it for granted. So when you wake up in the morning, what what's there that's so beautiful? You know, sometimes Bentley's touching my leg and Winston's on my head and I've got the hand and I got the foot and I'm like so circling with the things that are so dear to me and really being in, in gratitude of that. Mm. And I feel like it's filling up my tank with love first thing in the morning and reminding myself that this is a priority. If you want an amazing relationship, you, you have to make it a priority, right? If you want to have vibrant health, you got to make health the priority. If you want a thriving business, you'll probably make that a priority. You know, wherever you put your energy, that thing is going to thrive. So put it into something super positive. Thank you for all the love, by the way, you guys. We, um, we weren't sure what was going to come through this week. And then it just hit us like, oh, this would be beautiful to revisit. So such beautiful vows, says Debbie McMasters. OMG. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie says, OMG, gorgeous, profound vowels and chills. Mary says, awesome. This, you guys are so beautiful. Thank you so much. Hi, Stacy. She says, such beautiful vowels. Donna, we see you. Hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, it's just one big love fest. Hi, Christina. We see you piping in. And here. Kathy. Kathy. And Pat. Hi, Pat. I, <laughs> I saw Barbara was here. Hi, Barbara. And March. Marge is here, and I know Mr. Ron was here. I mm -hmm. agree, Ron. When are we going to get get back together? <laughs> soon, soon, buddy. We want this to want you guys to come and play again. Yeah, you know, with what went on in the world and is going on in the world with more people isolating, I think that, and I've read that many relationships, it's either really helped them, and some some relationships are hurting yeah. because. Because yeah. maybe they both have jobs and they're used to like jumping up, leaving, going to work, and they only were seeing each other a few hours. You're right. Or, and then sometimes those hours were taking care of the kids. So the actual relationship hadn't had a lot of time. And then with the pandemic and, and more people being home, it's like, oh man, you're like in my face all day. And then how do you deal with that? And how do you really yeah. share your space? Mm. Right, because there's so there's so much to a relationship and sharing space, and still feeling like you have plenty. 
Do you have any pictures of the crowd all in yellow? Um, like that? No. Or we're going to share just a it. couple more. Since we're on the wedding trail here, um, let's pop a few more things in. You can show start. this one. Which one, honey? This one. Okay. There's, this is, there was a big yellow theme going on. <laughs> Point. Thanks. This one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the family. So let me see if I can make this work better. There we go. Oops. There we go. All right. So. So you can see on the left, that's my mom, and she got a yellow suit that was fabulous. There's and Rita. Tristan's mom is standing right behind us, and, and stepdad is next to him, and oh. that's Tristan's little brother. Gosh, he looks so different. And now. his little sister, and his sister's uh, husband. Yep, that's me. That's Sabrina. That's Bentley. There's <laughs> Keith and Larry. Yep. <laughs> Any others that you want to share before we have to say goodbye? Oh, this is nice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that looks like my hand. Oh. No, that's not our thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's hilarious. This is the epitome of our relationship. Yeah. I never thought that I would um, exit my vows cracking up laughing, but that's just what happened. So... Um, we had been engaged for a while and people were like, are you really going to get married? And so uh, one of the, our students, that's pretty, and one of the dojo students had a house with a beautiful back lawn that uh, backed up to the lake. And she had said, why don't you get married here? And, and we thought that was amazing. And then she said, hey, I'm going to move. I'm going to put the house up for sale. You got six months to get ma married. So... Um, at first, it was when chocolate, brown, and pink together were really trendy, and thank goodness I got over that, and we went yellow. And there were so many sweet things, like um, our friend that we talk about, Edward, our hairdresser, and, and two of our other friends uh, made my bouquet. They, yeah, they, everybody uh, contributed. They arranged the flowers, and some of my uh, Zumba students, one of my Zumba students, uh, got the cake for us. It was really... It was really small. People... It was like a potluck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very regal potluck wedding. <laughs> Somehow, you know, maybe we can speak to that for a moment. Like, it's not about money per se, but we didn't want to spend a lot of money on on a wedding. Not that we were against investing in that yeah, day. And we were, it wasn't that long after the, your back injury and there wasn't we, a, there wasn't a lot of we flow. had just paid off the credit cards mm -hmm. and so we found a way to attract a beautiful situation yeah. on a very affordable budget and so these things were i just think it's the power of intention mm -hmm. we knew that we wanted a beautiful experience we knew that we wanted yeah. the families there yeah. we knew that we wanted close friends there and yep. wow how do we manifest yeah. a beautiful backdrop and so it was gifted to us this mm -hmm. whole venue which Sabrina just shared, and it had rained the day before, and we were like, oh no, we're gonna have to move it under their house in this sort of outdoor wet bar area, and then the clouds cleared, yeah. the sun came mm -hmm. out. It was one of those things where yeah. you're just like, thank you, God. But my uncles went to Home Depot and bought pavers and paved a whole area where we could stand for the vows with the, what do you call her? You call her the, the officiant. Yeah, the wedding officiant. So my heels wouldn't go in the <laughs> mud. And mom, on all the tables, instead of a flower arrangement, she, uh, we got bowls of lemon. Martha Stewart had shown how to do this. And, and they tied little white bows around each lemon, and there were bowls of lemon. So it was really fun to figure out how to do it. And so many people participated. My ballroom students were there setting up the chairs. It was really sweet. And that's really the message that we want to land on is these things just happened because we were saying yes to love and mm -hmm. we were saying staying open. And it seemed like, oh, we can't have this and we can't have that. And I guess the message is to all of us, stay open. Yeah. You can have exactly what you need and exactly what you want. I think 
when you get aligned. The universe finds ways to provide. It finds ways to bring the right people, the mm -hmm. right venues, yeah. the right weather, right? And the right people into our lives when we stay open and don't settle for anything less than love. So mm -hmm. that's the message of this wedding and One the share and, and, okay, and the vows. That's the message is yeah. choose love. That's mm -hmm. always the Satori message. Yeah. Choose love over mm -hmm. everything else. And taking a moment to look at things that I was stressing out about and saying, well, wait a minute, why do I think I need these things? Is it because someone told me I did? Or it's actually something that I want and desire? You know, to, to get out of the box of what like a wedding planner would tell you, you need this and this and this. It's like, well, well do you? Does that feel like an expression of us? And I feel like our wedding was such an expression of us with some of our, you know, the, even the DJ was actually the video editor for Good Morning, Good Evening, Qigong, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and the singers, one of the singers was the dojo student that used to sing with John Denver. Like, as soon as I let go of it's supposed to be any certain way, mm -hmm. and it can be exactly as we would like it, um, then it just became creating a real celebration without preconceived ideas. And I really think that opened up for a lot of miracles and a lot of generosity flowing our way. That's been the journey for us. We, we haven't like been like striving to have abundance and trying to grow and have this big wedding and all these things. It's like always coming back to staying open. Like you guys are putting in the chat, staying open, staying grateful, yep. aligning to possibility. Like you said, that, mm -hmm. It's, it's all doable. You just have to stay open and, and keep your intentions clear and keep moving in the directions that light you up. And great abundance, whatever that is for you, is there. But ultimately, abundance and love. So I'm going to take this beautiful lady out for a beautiful dinner. And you guys have an amazing rest of your Thursday. Thank you for and, joining us today. And next week, next week we're hoping we're that we're going to broadcast from a beach. A beach. Where we'll be. Yeah. on our little Christmas experience. You'll learn more about that and we'll share more about. I think abundance is a beautiful conscious state of consciousness and I think we all want to be in abundant health and abundant love mm -hmm. and and more abundant wealth in our lives so that we can have that time freedom experience. Okay. Namaste. Ta ta. <laughs> oh wait. Here it comes. Royalty free holiday music. Right? And you look very spiffy tonight. Oh, here you are. <laughs> Bye.